In this tutorial, you'll learn to build a collection. Say you're researching the magician Del Rey. Type his name in quotation marks into the search bar and click the green search button. Find the button with a folder and the word new on it. Click it and type Del Rey. Now click OK. You've just created a collection, but it's empty. You'll notice that every page in your results has a little box next to it. If you click on this box, a check mark and folder will appear indicating that the page is now part of your collection. But make sure that you're collecting in the Del Rey category and not in any other collections that you've already created. To view this collection, hover the cursor over My Alex and click Collections. Now click Del Rey. You can navigate through these pages with the back and next buttons, but you'll notice that this first page does not have a lot of information about Del Rey. We're going to remove it. Click on the Table of Contents link and place a check mark next to that first page. Now click Delete Selected Pages and hit OK. Hit View. and you'll see the newly edited collection. Now, let's say you're researching something else, like Del Rey's blackjack routine. But you want to make sure that a page fits in the collection before you add it. So take a look at this page. It looks pretty good. We're going to add it. In the right-hand toolbar, click on the word Collections. Make sure you're in the Del Rey category and click Add. It's now part of the collection. As a side note, if you're ever reading a page and you feel suddenly inspired to start a collection, you can do so from this same toolbar. Just click on the word New and you'll be able to start a new collection. You now know how to use collections.